Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and testing out this huge Savvy Land dip powder kit that they sent me and I am so excited to show you guys this. I haven't used dip nails in a couple of years um, and I've never used dip by Savvy Land so I was super super excited and thankful to receive this. So I'm just showing you on the box. It shows you what it comes with. It shows you ingredients directions there are more directions inside the box so we're going to open this right up um they have a package so nice and it comes with a nail drill and i was so excited for that you get extra brushes you get a cuticle pusher um a nail file which i didn't show yet um this little really useful dust fan brush i really like this a lot i use this a lot in the tutorial um, I can always, always use a new cuticle pusher, so I was happy about that as well. So all your dips come in that box right there, the colorful box. Um, and there was that nail file. It's 100, 180. Let's just move this out of the way and make some room because we have a lot of products here to look at. So we're going to start. Um, it says on there three minutes to remove acrylic nails. They give you this so you can like remove your dip nails and stuff, but you can also, um, prep your tips and stuff. If you're using tips, um, this is really useful. And I have to say, I really like this little nail drill. It's super cute, super lightweight, which you'll see. Um, this kit is definitely worth the money. Um, especially considering that it comes with a drill. So if you don't have one, um, I think this is a good kit to jump on. Um, and if you have nice natural nails, like I don't at all, they're in really bad shape right now. Um, but I can imagine that this dip kit, um, and dip in general would be a beautiful option for some lovely ladies out there with pretty natural nails um just a really nice option um so here's your little directions that comes with the drill you get your cord it is usb um the power is on that thing you see right there it goes forward it goes reverse and you have your speed dial so you go from like low to high it also came with this flame bit, which I love, and I definitely needed a new one. I do use that bit a lot um, when doing gel X and stuff. And you also get this right here, all your um, basic bits that you would need for just about anything and two different um, grit sanding bands. And you also get um, a little baggie of sanding bands as well. A pretty big baggie actually as you can see right there so the drill is purple which i love and we're going to end up doing some purple nails today so you also get a kabuki dust brush which is so cute and it's purple and i'm so happy <laughs> purple is one of my like absolute favorite colors right now um so we're just going to plug this in and test her out um and we're going to prep some tips um, I don't end up using the tips that I prep, um, don't ask, but, um, we're going to do some short square nails. Um, I end up using the short squares by Una Jella, um, cause I don't show them later in the video. So plug it in. Um, it's the type of drill. You just kind of shove the bit in the top. This thing gets the job done guys. You do not need an expensive e-file. Um, you really do not. Um, the one that I use all the time was also inexpensive as well from Amazon. So here we have what's inside of the box. How beautiful is this? So you get 20 dip powders and you get your dip base, your activator, you get a top and you get a brush saver, um, liquid, which is really cool because it helps you clean your brush if it gets all like gunked out, which is this right here. Um, I thought that was awesome. And look at all these pretty colors. Oh my God, I'm going to bring them up closer so you can see them. And there's the directions, which I totally needed because it's been a while. Um, yeah, but I'm definitely going to use this more. You got whites, pinks, hot pinks. Some of these are like glittery colors, which you can't really tell until you open them up. So yeah, and the tops are purple. So pretty. And um, I can't wait to show you guys how easy it is to use this and again i definitely recommend i am no dip powder expert at all um but for not having done it in a while they turned out really good really smooth i didn't even have to buff them out um 
and I feel like they feel really strong. It feels different than just gel polish. Um, it feels like acrylics. Um, and this is one of the like glitter ones. The ones that are glitter are called sequins. And look at that orange right there. It's so vibrant and pretty. And that green down there is definitely calling to me as well. So we're just going to finish um, quickly looking at the colors. And then we're going to test out the drill. And we are going to get into the nails. Um, and I do have a code with Savvy Land. I'll leave that down below in the description for you guys. In case you're interested, you do get a percent off if you use my code. I believe it's Haley Marie, but just check down below um, for that. So yeah, you can get this on Amazon. You can get this on Savvy Land's site as well. And yeah, so these were short coffin tips I had out. And I just wanted to test out the drill um, on these ones. So I'm going to take the like regular you know one that you got to put a sanding band on so i'm going to take one of those coarse ones and we're just going to test it out and rough up the inside of these nails and it works really well i like this drill a lot um i'm definitely going to be reaching for it um yeah so if you need a nail drill check out savvy land i really um i had been eyeing their other e-files like that they sell separately um they look so pretty they have such pretty colors i would definitely love to try one of those in the future because i can imagine that it's really good quality i love savvy land stuff in general um but yeah and they have one it's like blue and purple like not tie-dye but just like a blend of the colors i don't know i just think it's so beautiful um yeah so I'll let you guys watch me prep a couple of tips and then we're going to move on. Okay, so I glued my tips on. I used regular nail glue. Don't ask. Please excuse the state of my cuticles and finger skin. It's really cold and I don't know. I honestly don't know what is going on with me. I literally cannot stop biting my nails. So you can put your tips on as gel X. You can glue them on. You can do whatever you want. You can use your natural nails. So yeah, just um, please excuse <laughs> that. Um, I chose these two purples, a sequins purple which I'm opening up right now and this deeper purple. So we're just going to go back and forth between those two. I was really feeling the purple. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Love it so much. So I have this little thing off to the side. It's for dip powder. I don't end up using it. I've had that for when I used to do dip. It was like from a kiss kit, but whatever. I'm not using that. I'm just taking up space apparently. So we're going to take the dip base and we're going to paint a base on the, na the nail. Um, of course, I'm out of frame, but I will get in frame. I promise you that. Just make sure you do a nice even coat. Try to get as close to your cuticle as you can without getting it on because anything you get the dip base on, the dip powder will stick to and just dip your finger in. You can tap off a little bit. Um, just wait a couple of seconds before you actually dust it off because it can kind of make it be a little bit mushy. So yeah, just um, wait a couple seconds and then you can dust the powder off and I'm going to put on that activator in between every layer that I do because that is the stuff that helps each layer dry.